Hello, Namaste. This is Preeti Singh from First Lease India. Welcome to our special segment where we showcase success stories of our esteemed clients. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Ankur Kohli, real estate and BD head. Hi. Bata. So, to begin with, sir, we would like to know more about your journey from the beginning till date. Okay. It's, uh, as they say, uh, to have a thousand mile journey, we start with a baby step. So I started my baby step from Tata's and uh, I was there in uh, wholesale, not so, I organized retail. So my journey started from there and then I graduated to retail. We opened the retail stores uh, for Tata's, uh, which was tried and then moved on to the whole retail piece uh, to Lee Cooper Shoes and then launched Crocs Retail in India for the retail uh, 20 store network and then followed by Hush for Peace Retail so to form a chain of 70 stores in the stint of three years and then going 500 plus stores in two and a half years of Bata and then moved on into some bigger roles within Bata for uh, Asia Pac region and Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Indonesia and then again going into the battlefield of the operations so my journey has been into operations, sales operations and into uh, retail real estate expansion. As India is blossoming, India is growing, so there is no stopping. So we breathe in and out retail stores. Wow, well, that's commendable. And it continues. Yeah. So as you've been in Bata, like how many years it's been? It's been a dozen of years. Wow, that's insane. Yes. So um, can you please tell us the history about uh, Bata in India? Oh, it's a legacy. Bata is not a brand, it's a habit. So, the best part of India, I am sure uh, when you have uh, been introduced to Bata, you might have thought Bata is an Indian brand. It's not an Indian brand. 99% of the people, they are aware that it's an Indian brand. Even in Italian, they think that it's an Italian brand. It's not. That goes, uh, it's good for us because we think uh, we have the multinational company with a local culture. So that's where it's a originally Czech brand and then second generation moved oh, that's, into... That's surprising. Yeah. Uh, being an Indian, even I used to think that it's an Indian brand. Absolutely. But it's not, right? It's not. Yeah. So um, we have lived in Bata shoes. Every human being in India must have, uh, you know, any point of time they have, uh, you know, worn Bata shoes. So the legacy continue and we are uh, looking at the young generation now uh, to be there attached to us as a consumer and uh, the Gen Z and uh, you know we have want them to buy and then finally uh, you know we are working towards it. So 1932 is the year when we launched Bata uh, from Kohn Nagar which is one remote area of uh, Calcutta uh, you know far off. Uh, so we have a factory there we set up the factory in, Kohn, uh, in Bata Nagar and then Kohn Nagar the retail journey started. Over a period of time, we created jungles into the retail organized market. And then, uh, you know, it was, there was no looking back. So what we thought that we will be, uh, you know, uh, we want with a passion of, uh, you know, uh, we believe in that there is a uh, huge market potential in India uh, as because of population one seventh, uh, you know, uh, one out of seven person in a you know, you know, globe is an Indian. So we believe that we have a long way to go. So the journey over a period of time, we introduced many brands. Uh, we have 14 brands now. Wow. So that's, uh, and we have a network of 2000 stores. Uh, and we have in the malls, in the high street, in the remote of tier five, uh, the likes of, you know, uh, Hoogly and uh, deep down, if you go, we are, we are there. We are there in Izol. We are there in, uh, you know, the farthest part of this. So uh, in any town you see, and we have a vision to get, go into, uh, you know, more deeper. So the journey continues with Bata being, uh, uh, because we have a great mind share. Uh, we want it to be a wallet share as well. So that's why we want to go, uh, you know, in a geographical spread. And uh, we have got so many, uh, you know, array of series of awards as you can see at the back yeah, absolutely. and uh, we have been transforming uh, in the modern India and Bharat 
so we uh, have both the likes of the modern india we are serving to the consumer of that mindset and to the bharat we are consume, uh, giving uh, uh, you know customizing the footwear for that mindset so bata is the brand which have seen wars which have seen covid uh, all uh, you know many brands have seen but we have seen uh, you know many wars and many ups and downs it's been a roller coaster and we survived we are there for long we are meant to be uh, there for longevity as you just talked about bharat and india so you are on a, you are on the expansion spree in india and you are almost there pan india i would love to know about the challenges what do you uh, what are the challenges you face while scouting the spaces for your brand okay. usually we don't we are refrain talking about the challenges so can you please tell us it's a interesting question i think i can talk about uh, more than a day uh, you know on this topic india being a complex market uh, we see a, a high rise tower next to the uh, you know the lesser uh, you know the jj colonies and all so mumbai is a classic example for that so you have uh, a per square feet rate going into the uh, you know super expensive real estate in india uh, you have seen uh, in past surveys says uh india after japan and all and hong kong we are the expensive most expensive market so real estate first thing when it comes uh is that price real what they are asking for because retailer is uh you know can only make money if the expense is under control so i think the first thing and the challenge what we believe is the demand and pull side while we want to expand we have the passion to expand and so are many other retailers in the country and we are coming and uh, you know introducing into the country now from overseas so the demand is high and uh, the landlords uh, and the malls uh, due to some uh, reason or other they are charging uh, you know the inflation is higher in the rentals so i think the complex thing is while we have a beautiful property uh, where we can have a decent business but is it the question what we ask ourselves is that going to be a profitable will that work we can't ultimately uh, you know lunches are free we have to be there in uh, you know the, we are there uh, as a profitable company we have a promise to the shareholders you can see our uh, latest annual report which says which is shoe stopper so we have given 240% of uh, you know the dividends so we can't give those dividends if we are expensive in the product because consumer mindset is in the product we cannot raise the price uh, because the landlord is asking for more uh, rentals so the first challenge is rental right property at the right price uh, is the first thing second i would say uh, it's uh, the kind of area what we take uh, there is a supply there is a push and pull uh, you know while we uh, we are opening almost uh, you know every 20 hours uh sorry every 30 hours uh, stored uh, you know upon 30 hours that's yeah so yeah, that's level, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, whatever said and done uh, we can't go wrong in the pnl and the uh, real estate prices we have to be in control and check so what we have learned over a period of time especially after covid that we have to go into the trade density uh, thing which i think is a message to all retailers from all retailers Uh, where they believe that uh, okay landlord we can negotiate till a certain point they can't there is a you know breaking point uh, below that so what if we can increase the trade density uh, by having a lesser area and then the rental becomes lower and then you manage because you are going into the tech tools uh, technology has come in a big play and where we think that uh, we invest in the technologies and do the resupply faster than having the go downs so what we are saying to have a lesser area from a 2 and a half thousand square feet and that we have experienced also in last two years from 2 and a half thousand square feet we have reduced the size of the store which we are requiring now to 1500 square feet and then we have invested in the technology in it to uh, and the logistics to supply more uh, you know rigorously and faster and for that we have the dark stores for that we have uh you know the retail distribution centers within the reach of the uh, where we have the gamut of stores so i think that has uh, so there is a problem then this is a solution so we have played so these are the two big things which i will say uh, are the real uh, you know uh, challenges in india right so when we are talking about the challenges let's talk about 
FL and Bata collaboration. So I uh, am really keen to know about it that could Firstly's expertise help you uh, while decision making? Okay, uh, I think uh, as they say, uh, uh, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. What we have seen, uh, they might be greener because they are taking good care of, uh, you know, the grass. You never know. So I think we have learned. So we don't, we are leaving no stone unturned by not collaborating with anyone, number one. You being, what we treated as you being a startup uh, can really, uh, you know, help us because startup is having a passion. They are not so, uh, you know, uh, they want to go deep and fast at a pace. So what we believe in, if I have to make a sound in the market, so like, <clears throat> this is a retailer's voice, uh, pace, what we want to do in the market expansion is, so yeah. I think to match those pace, we need to have these collabs. So FL comes, uh, first lease uh, may come handy. So we have seen some traction uh, of opening a few stores with you. Uh, you have signed, uh, you know, help us sign in that where we were not getting the properties. So I appreciate that effort. It's a long way to go. And I think uh, with uh, having these collabs, which will really, uh, you know, help us in going into the micro markets uh, faster and there we have the consumer who are ready to pay and buy our product. So I think uh, focusing uh, towards, uh, you know, the newer uh, ge geographies, uh, but at the same time, uh, keep the Josh eye. So are we uh, seeing the more stores coming up via IFL for Bata, Power, Hush Puppies? Absolutely. The game is all open. So uh, we, we are ready. Uh, the ingredients are ready. You need to just pick it and order. So if we are going to open, as I said, uh, nearly uh, one store per 30 hours, uh, you know, so there is a lot of scope. And I think even if you can grab your attention uh, towards Bata, uh, you have a long way because we open in high streets, we open in malls, we open in, uh, you know, the scores, which is a shopping com uh, office complexes. And uh, we are in the open, uh, you know, malls like the likes of Good Earths and uh, you know many others uh, which we have seen so we are there in the uh, breadth and the width of uh, and the depth of the geographies in tier 2 to tier 3 and 4 and 5 so i think uh, today if we are going to be there in opening the stores so i think there is no stopping if you have the offices and infra uh, to support us so thank you so much sir for sharing your experiences as, as an individual person experiences with first lease Last but not the least, one line for first lease. Okay, before uh, one line for first lease, I would say uh, one line for Bata. <laughs> it's, it's in my DNA. So they yeah. call it Ankur Kohli Bata. I could read that coming up. <laughs> so we believe, uh, you know, and there is a business for you in uh, this line as well. So what we believe uh, when we are over with selling shoes in, uh, in the planet, we will fly to space. And we believe that Indians have four legs and we will sell. Wow. <laughs> so which means that's we nice. have an expansion plan everywhere. So yeah. that's uh, to the first lease. I think uh, whatever you are doing, uh, you know, keep on doing. And uh, as Mother Teresa, you know, uh, court is there. So whatever we are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But the ocean would be less of because of that missing drop. So don't miss any opportunity. Uh, grab it with two hands and go for it. So if one is stuck, uh, you know, think and then you think that there is uh, no stopping, uh, you know, keep on trying, trying, trying. And I think you will be there. So the ray of light is there. We have the expansion plans. We have the, you know, multiple brands as uh, we see the consumer, uh, you know, trends changing. So we are opening power stores. We are opening hush puppy stores. We are opening, uh, we have done the collapse of Nine West. So we have seen, uh, you know, uh, the things changing. That's why we say Bata be surprised. And now at the back of, uh, you know, you see, uh, make your way. So I think the same message to FL, make your way by, uh, you know, taking the, grab the opportunity with both hands and go for it. We will surely try our best, sir. All the best to you. Thank you so much. So here, this was a success story of Mr. Ankur Kohli, real estate Bata head. Stay tuned for more.
Thank you so much. Thank you.